So Google is catching up quickly and they've just launched something pretty incredible. Not sponsored video, just wanted to show you this. Go to aistudio.google.com. Gemini 1.5 used to be the thing until today when they launched Gemini 2. It's in preview right now. You can go to here, Flash Experimental. This can be an actual assistant, like in the traditional sense, when you're sitting with somebody and they're helping you out to code. So I've selected Gemini 2 Flash and on the left, I'm gonna select Stream Real Time. Now this is a little bit sketchy. You have to give some rights to Google to look at your desktop. Kind of like Microsoft's recall was, but here at least I'm doing it myself to myself because it's cool and uh, <laughs> it's actually useful. So here you go to select video source and you say screen. And I'm gonna have this look at my screen and interact with me directly. Check it out. I'm gonna say entire screen. Let's go with this one. Hey, Google, are you there? Use this microphone to record you, okay? This other microphone I have. Sure, that sounds like a good plan. I don't know when it's capturing the video. I'm talking to uh, my people right now. Google, ignore me for now. I'm talking to you folks. Okay, so it huh. looks like you're now using a different microphone and that you're asking no. Google to ignore Go you for now so you can address your audience. Is that correct? Yeah, but I was, I was just trying to make a point and you messed it up. Okay, let's continue with this, okay? Help me code a project. I wanna show a demo of what you can do as a coding assistant. Okay, you'd like to show a demo of how it can assist with coding. Yeah, so I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna start up a new project. I'm gonna create a new directory. Do you see my screen, by the way? Okay, I see that you've opened a terminal window and are preparing to create a new directory. Yeah, I wanna call this one a project. And I'm gonna pop this open in my editor, Visual Studio Code. Now tell me what kind of project we can do together. Something easy, something in Python. Okay, I see that you've created a directory named project and opened Visual Studio Code. You would now like to collaborate on a project using Python. Is that correct? Tell me what to write. I want a cool new project to make and something easy and something fun. Okay, how about we create a simple program that prints a personalized greeting? This can be done using the input function to get the user's name and the print function to output the greeting. Would tell, you like to start with that? Tell me what to write. Okay, you can start with backquote name equals input. What is your name? Fun backquote. Wait, 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 wait. Let's say that again? Okay, okay. The code you should write is backquote name equals input. What is your name? Uh, backquote. Why are you saying backquote? I apologize if my speech sounds backwards. I am still under development and trying to improve. I did not write it backward, but instead I said name equals input, open parenthesis, quotation marks. What is your name? Close quote, close parenthesis. Okay, what is your name and question mark? There we go, is this right? Yes, that's correct. You've written back quote name equals input. What is your name? Back quote. Back quote, stop saying back quote. I didn't write back quote. I understand you did not write it backwards. Back, You're now working. not backwards, back quote, back quote. You keep saying back quote, why are you saying that? I am sorry for saying back quote. I should have said double quote. Uh, okay, let's continue. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. What do I do, how do I run this? Okay, to run your code, you can open a terminal window, navigate to the directory containing main.py, and then type back quote, python3 main.py, back quote. Why you keep saying back quote? Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna run this. What is your name? It asked me. Cool, I'm gonna say something and it's done. But this is kind of a useless program. What else can this program do? Okay, now you can add a line of code to make the program respond with a greeting using the name given, such as back quote print, hello, plus name plus, back quote. It looks like Copilot is actually predicting what Gemini is gonna tell me. It does seem that way. Copilot is suggesting the next line of code based on what I've said, which is the print statement to say hello to the user. Oh, the Copilot is suggesting based on what you said, not Copilot said it and then you repeating it, huh? Is that what's happening? Forget that. Okay, is this right? Yes, that code is correct. Let's run that. What's your name? Alex. Boom. Hello, Alex. It worked. You know, this is kind of a dull program. What else can we do? What is happening? Are you there? What are you doing? I'm here. I'm following along with the code you're writing and trying to assist you in your project. Okay, what can we do with this that's gonna be more interesting, a better program? Okay, how about we make the program a bit more interactive? Yeah. We could add a fee okay, we could have it ask for the user's age and then use that information in the greeting. Ugh. How about that? Boring. How about we have the program perform a simple calculation? Can we do a different program? Let me just delete all this and just come up with a different program that's more interesting. Well, I mean, this thing is still in beta. Stream is live, it says. 
maybe we should uh, try to reconnect let's do that again let's uh, let's reconnect oh start a new stream you can't just restart hello uh google i'm in the middle of writing a, a well i'm at the beginning of writing a python program and i thought i'd ask you what's an interesting program to write as a demo something simple a simple program that reads user input and prints a response could be a good option for example it can ask what is your name give me a different print. one give me a different one Different idea. Another idea for a simple Python demo program could be one that checks if a number is a prime number. It would take a number as an input and then print whether it is prime or not. Yeah, let's do, do that like, one. Do you want to write the code now or do you want to brainstorm more ideas? Uh, let's write the code right now. Let's start writing the code. First, we need to define a function that checks if a number is prime. <laughs> what do you think that function should look like? Uh, okay, let's do a def because I already know that. Um, is prime and it's gonna take in a number. It looks like you've started defining the back quote is I am prime back quote function, which <sighs> takes a number as an argument. It also looks like you're using a for loop to check the divisibility by numbers in the range two through that number. I'm not What's really next? doing it yet. Copilot is doing it. Plus also stop saying back quote because I'm not writing back quotes here. Okay, it sounds like Copilot is helping you write the code and you don't want me to mention the back quotes. I will keep that in mind going okay. forward. Yes, Do you want please. me to? I will not mention the back quotes. Good. It looks like you. Good. Don't mention back quotes ever again. Understood. I will not mention back quotes again. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, what do I do? How do I run this program? Okay, to run your program, you need to call the main function at the end of your file. Add if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore main at the end of your code to call the main function, then use a terminal to navigate to the directory where your script is saved and execute it using the command python your underscore file underscore name dot py. Copilot helped me out here. Thanks a lot, Gemini. But is this right, what I have written here? Will this run correctly? You have a function named is I prime that will return true if the number is prime and false if the number is not. You are also calling the function is I prime inside of the main method and printing its result. This will run yes. Okay, let's run it. So Python main is five is prime is true. Okay, so how do I take input instead of just hard coding a number? Instead of hard coding a number, you can use the input function to get user input. Then you can convert the input to an integer using the int function and pass this integer to your is prime function. Okay, cool. Tell me how to do that. Okay, to take an input from the user, you would replace the line num equals five feet with a new line that uses the input function like so num equals int input enter a number this will ask the user to enter a number and then store the converted integer in the variable num nice enter a number let's go with a thousand is prime is false let's go with three it's true hey google thanks this works you're welcome glad i could help is there anything else i can assist you with yeah why don't we try writing a new program something that's even different something even more different than what we had before Sure, I'd be happy to help you with that. What kind of program are you thinking of writing now? You tell me. Give me some ideas. How about a program that generates a random password? Or yes, a program that can yes, generates a random password. I love it. Tell me what to write. A program that generates a random password sounds like a good idea. To start, you'll need to import the random module. So at the top of your file, type import random. Then we need to define a main function. Got it. What do I put in there? Inside your main function, you should first define the length of the password you want. For example, password underscore length equals 12. Then you need to generate a string that contains all the possible characters that your password can have. Uh, password underscore length equals 12. Is that right? Setting password underscore length to 12 is fine, but to give the user control of the length of their password, you can use input function to ask for the length like this password underscore length equals int input enter the length of the password next you would call your generate password function and pass in password underscore length like this password equals generate underscore password password underscore length is this right almost you need to define the function called generate underscore password to actually generate the random password. Got Currently it. the program. Okay, so before you call the generate underscore password function, you need to define it. Start by defining your generate underscore password function above the main function, like so, def generate underscore password length. 
Inside that function is where you would generate the random password. Tell me what to write. Inside your generate underscore password function, first, define a string containing all possible characters for your password. For example, chars equals absi def geikel nop six day kol nop qr stu wxy Z O one two three four five six seven eight nine at hash dollar percent carrot and asterisk underscore plus okay okay back. stop it I got deadline what's next now that you have your characters and a variable called password start a for loop that iterates based on the length of the password in the loop you will append random characters from chars to the password string after the loop return the password copilot is doing the exact same thing you are how does how does it know how do you know it appears you have defined a function called generate underscore password that takes length as input <clears throat> generates a string of random characters okay got it got it you don't need to rehash what i did just tell me how to run this thing to run the program you need to call the main function at the end of the file then save your file open a terminal window, navigate to where you saved it, and then type Python your underscore file underscore name dot P O Y. Okay, we need to print the password, don't we? Yes, you are right. You need to print the password. Cool. After you've hey, it's working. Nice. Now I'm going to be super secure. Thanks to you. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could assist you. It looks like your program is creating strong random passwords. Let me know if there is anything else I can assist you with. It's pretty cool. Agreed. Generating random passwords is a cool feature. Do you want to add any other functionality to your program? No, that's great. That's great. Let's let's just stop this right here. This actually looks at your screen, evaluates what's on your screen, and in a multimodal way can interact with you, your voice, the images that is gathering at the same time from your screen, and at the same time generate new code. Impressive stuff. Let me know what you think about this or have you already tried this?